Hello, 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 divas, diamonds, and dolls. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Femininity with Mama Gail. Today, let's tap a little bit into confidence. Actually, we're going to talk about confidence and tap a little bit into insecurity. While there are a lot of things in this generation that can be faked, and we live in a generation of Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, you can be as fake and as phony and post up pictures that make you look like you're living the glamorous life and things of that nature, quote things on Twitter about your life and none of that can be for be true. But these two things right here, you cannot fake. And the feminine woman, if you are fake, if you don't have feminine energy, you can dress the part all you want to. Femininity comes from the energy from within, not the appearance of. The second thing, if you lack confidence, you can put up the wall and make it seem like you are a confident person, but like the old nursery rhyme, Humpty Dumpty, you will fall down sooner or later because you have nothing to keep you up there. Confidence has the ability to take you to high heights. And if you get to a place where your confidence is shattered and shaken, for instance, if you were single, you get into a relationship it looks like you are confident. You have confidence. And then you have this gentleman who turns out to be abusive. And he tears down your confidence by verbally abusing you. You stay and you take it. He goes into emotional, which turns into physical. There's all different types of abuse. If you are not confident in who you are, it can be torn down. You have to have substance for femininity and in your confidence. And having substance, that is what your confidence and your femininity is built on. Femininity is built on what radiates out of you, the aura. If you have not been feminine and raised to be a feminine woman, then you have to learn how to weigh more on your feminine energy than the masculine energy that you have. The feminine energy, some of us, including myself, needed or need healing from the masculine energy from the anger, the rage, the pain, the things that we have endured in the past that have gotten us by, the tactics, the manipulation tactics, and other tactics that we have used to get us by in masculine energy. Feminine energy, you have to work on being soft and sweet, gentle, caring, kind, loving, compassionate, passionate, soft and sweet, and flowing in your superpowers and things of that nature, but it radiates from within. You can't fake that. You can't put clothes on top of that and just fake it. The same thing with confidence. There are some things that you have to do that has to be healed, like fear and people pleasing, one up and the next, being competitive against your sisters, against somebody else, always measuring yourself up. These things has to be worked on, worked out, so that when confidence comes out of you, it's genuine, it's pure, it's rich, it's not easily shaken. So the first thing that we're going to talk about with confidence, you acknowledge and confront 
your fears. Acknowledge the fact that you have fears. And then when you acknowledge them, you know what your fears are, confront them. Do them anyway. There are some things that, that will keep you from standing up and being proud and knowing that you are radiant and beautiful, knowing what is within you because of what somebody else said before in the past about you. So you have this fear of showing the real you, the beautiful you, the confident you. You have this fear of showing the feminine you because of what others, other people have seen and known about you or who you've always been, who your mama name is. Some of us come from ratchet families with ratchet family members who, oh, you Shaquisha, you always going to be Shaquisha, no matter what. You can try to be all bougie and uppity and this, that, and the other, but you still come from this family and you still Shaquisha, Nene daughter. You cannot allow people, even family members, to tear down your confidence in who you are and who you are becoming. Your fears of what people think, which is my sec second point, people pleasing. What people say. How can I get this person's approval? I'm trying to fit into this social class, this, that, and the other. And you feel threatened by what people are going to say that's that fear again but the people pleasing comes from fear of losing people not fitting in not measuring up when you are confident you don't give a fat baby's lollipop about what anybody else has to say or think about you you work on you Work on your affirmations. You know I'm big on affirmations. Get in that mirror and talk. Self-talk to yourself. When you're feeling leery, scary, weary, anything fearful and things of that nature, remind yourself of who you are. If you were a tomboy and you've decided to get into this feminine journey and to step out with something new, sweetie, get dressed and confront your fear. Step out the door and let people say what they may, but you continue the next point to be consistent in showing up, not saying, oh, I can't do this. I'm not going to do this today. One day you in, one day you out. When you are consistently confident, it doesn't matter what stage, what arena, what platform, where you are, you are going to take confidence with you. And for the feminine woman, confidence should be your right hand like a handbag. You should have wear confidence with confidence like it's a Gucci bag on your arm, sweetie. Because the feminine woman without confidence is a disaster. And this is where insecurity and things of that nature kick in because you don't have any confidence. So you have a man. You're deep dialed up. Just beautified. You a diamond. You a 10. And all of a sudden, you got this man and you feel like having him, you're going to lose him. You're threatened by losing him. You're threatened by the fact that somebody else is going to take him. You lack confidence and you're insecure. You have to find out why. Why am I insecure? What's going on in me? What makes me feel this way? What makes me feel like I'm going to lose something? Am I dealing with abandonment issues? Am I dealing with rejection issues? Because that will stop your confidence also. It will hinder it and block you from being confident. It will keep you from being secure. You will one up and try to compare yourself and compete with other people. You're not confident because you're insecure. A feminine woman should not only be confident, but she should be secure. Because insecurity is very ugly especially to a man. If you are such a diva, 
you are such a diamond, such a doll. You're such a feminine woman flowing in feminine energy and feminine radiance. And you allow yourself to be intimidated by the next chick. You're competing and trying to one-up the next chick. A man is going to look at you and say, she play games. That's not real. She's not confident. If he wants to talk to, associate, be around somebody who you may see as being prettier, not knowing what her flaws and the reason why he didn't pick her, but he picked you, but you're so caught up in the fact that he's talking to her or socializing with her, you're going to lose him. Or it's going to be a fight, an argument all the time because of your insecurity. Because you lack confidence. Confidence, we talk about femininity, having feminine presence, being able to walk into a room and light it up. You have to be confident. When you look at, you know I'm big on Nicki Minaj, you know I'm big on Beyonce. I'll talk about them in a couple of my videos. When you look at them, they are celebrities, but they are women. Beyonce is the essence of femininity. Now, Nikki, Nikki not all that feminine. She's girly. She get dressed to kill in the whole nine yard, living the fabulous. But they both have something about them. And I think it's like an alter ego. I think I'm going to do a video on alter ego. But they transition into greatness when they it's time to perform. And it's not a fakeness. It's another part of them. You have to learn how to grace and embrace who you are so confidently that when you step out on stage into the world to higher heights, into a new place, you are so confident with that gentleman, that high quality uh, man that you about to lose because you insecure. You have to learn how to turn on and turn off. And it's not being fake because we all have another side of us. We have another side of us. We wear many hats as mothers. We, we are a certain way when we're with our family. We're a different way when we're in the bedroom. Why can't we be the shining star, the celebrity in our own world, in our own you know, movie. Switch it on. Glide in. Be confident. Don't be threatened and worried about the next chick and nobody else. If you have a problem dealing with rejection, you should not let anyone, especially not the gentleman, know. Because insecurity, as I said, is very, very ugly you can fake a lot of things in this world we have a lot of fakeness all around us but you cannot fake femininity and confidence work on you talk to yourself become a better you do what you need to do to step out boldly do the thing that you're afraid to do anyhow and keep doing it consistently until it becomes routine and habit but for the feminine woman lack of confidence and insecurity should not be a part of your characteristics who you are that's all I'm gonna say don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel this is femininity with mama gail have a blessed and prosperous day divas diamonds and dolls